Hi everyone, it's me. All right, you guys, it is Monday, and today we are starting our final week of the fuel program. This is week six. This program has gone by so, so quickly, and I cannot believe we are at our finale now. If you're new to my channel and this is the first video you're clicking on, hi, my name is Jamie. I try workouts, I share the food that I eat here with you guys, and I'm currently doing a full series where I share week to week vlogs of my experience doing Caroline Green. Urban's fuel program. So if you would like to watch this series in its entirety from the beginning, I will link the playlist up here on the screen so you can click that and watch everything in order. But yeah, just to get right into it, we're on our final week so I'm expecting some high intensity because we all know Caroline likes to step it up for her final weeks of all her programs. So today we have day 26 of the fuel program. This will be our last leg day of the series. Thank goodness. We have a 30 minute dumbbell leg day complex. So complexes are a format that I generally do like. Because we are counting reps, things just tend to fly by a lot quicker. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start week six. Lots of sweat and lots of lunges later. We are done our last leg day of fuel. <laughs> Yes, oh, I'm so glad. So I did use my 20 pound weights again today. If you watched my vlog last week, you know that I decided to try and weight up for the most part from 15 pounds to 20 pounds now, but I still hate those 20 pound dumbbells. My hands literally feel like they're on fire because like the grippy part is so rough. Why would anyone design a grip to be like so painful? I don't understand, but we made it through. I'm probably gonna get like gigantic, huge calluses on my hands. I can already start like feeling really, really hard patches here, like right at the joint. That's gonna be super fun. But yeah, today was all right. The complex has definitely made the workout pass by a lot quicker than it would have, especially with us just like literally doing lunges the entire way through. But I am proud that we finished that. So let's have some breakfast now. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through everything's about to come my way nothing can ruin my day no matter what anyone this else is everything I need right now just a cold refreshing fruity breakfast <laughs> that is really good mm. okay this week's salad meal prep of the week is what would one call this taco salad salad taco no it's not a salad taco it's a taco salad salad taco would be salad inside of a taco shell but a taco salad is taco toppings on a salad so this is a taco salad it's got lettuce beans corn onions spicy peppers cucumbers and chicken breast <laughs> okay but they have to be crumbly right i guess chip crunchies another chip sure no, but you didn't crumble them. The dressing we're trying for this week is also a farm boy dressing, chili lime dressing. I thought it would go really well with like the taco salad theme. Oh, it smells good. I always over pour my dressing. Nothing wrong with that. No, there is nothing wrong with that, except when you, after you eat the salad, when there's dressing left at the bottom, and then you're like, dang it, I wasted dressing. That's the problem. All right, there you have it, a nicely dressed taco salad for lunch. I'm gonna have these Monday to Thursday this week. Let's give this salad a try. Mm. <laughs> Seriously though, this does taste good. I also forgot we put cilantro in the taco salad too. I'm gonna eat lunch now. I swear everything just tastes better in a bowl. If I could eat every meal in a bowl, I would. You could eat every meal in a bowl if you want. Hot potato. <laughs> I got a hot potato again. <laughs> Maybe I will eat every meal in a bowl. Pizza. Pizza in a bowl? <laughs> That'd be funny. Mmm. Potatoes are hot though, careful. Mm. Good morning. It is Tuesday and it's our last upper body day of the fuel program. Kind of sad. I really like upper body days. <laughs> I like the difference between yesterday. I was like, last leg day, yes. And then today I'm like, last upper body day. 
No! <laughs> what do we have today though? We have a 30 minute tempo shoulders, chest, and triceps workout. Day 27, last Tuesday of the program. Let's go. And with that, we have finished upper body for the program. I'm a little bit surprised this week because I was expecting the intensity to be like really, really high because that's just usually how it happens with Caroline's programs. But I found this week to be kind of a normal intensity level. I feel like last week and also the previous week, what was it, week four that was burpee week was absolutely ridiculously hard. <laughs> and now we're just kind of like coasting through the last week. Not coasting, we're still working hard, but we're working working like normal hard. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I am a little surprised at that, but I did absolutely love today's workout. It was so much fun. I loved the tempo aspect of it, kind of changing the pace on different exercises to make them just a little bit more interesting. And yeah, I definitely got a really good upper body workout today. Not a 10 out of 10 intensity, but still pretty good. <laughs> All right, breakfast time. Okay, for breakfast, I have some leftover sausage from last night's dinner. So I'm gonna put this into a scramble and I'm gonna have it with some hash browns because I've been loving hash browns for breakfast. Some of you have actually asked me like how I make them and I don't, I like don't make them from scratch. I buy them like this frozen at the grocery store and then I just stick them in my air fryer for about 15 minutes. That's how I make my hash browns. All right, I'll show you my breakfast when it's done. There's breakfast. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Absolutely delicious. I'm just working. It's like 1.43 p.m. So I have a lot of the work day left, but I ordered a boba because I wanted a little treat today. So good. I'm usually one for like the more traditional boba flavors, like just the tea or the brown sugar or like taro. But this place does really good, like extravagant kind of extreme flavors. And this one is cookies and cream. Absolutely amazing. Tastes like cookies and cream ice cream. It's just like a full cup of cream, basically. <laughs> Absolutely, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right, I have a meeting soon, so I'm gonna drink this boba. I love pasta. Pasta, pasta, pasta. <laughs> are these as hot as the hot potatoes? I hope not. They're hot. Please be careful. But are they hotter than the hot potatoes? Nothing is hotter than hot potatoes. Mmm. <laughs> nothing wrong with pasta and a Greek salad. Absolutely nothing. It's the last glute day of the program, <laughs> yes. And you know what? Today might not actually fully be a glute day. Today's workout is called posterior chain clusters. And the last time we did like a posterior chain workout, we kind of worked more of the entire backside. So yes, there were definitely glutes involved, hamstring, but there was also back, like lower back, mid back, upper back as well. So if that's the case for today as well, then maybe today won't be so bad. And maybe we've already completed did our last glute workout of the program, but we'll see. We'll see how the split is between like the glutes and like the back. But yeah, day 28, let's do it. So that workout started with eight minutes of hip thrust. And that was kind of a rocky start for me. I was like, is this gonna be the tone of today's workout? But then after that, we got into some upper body stuff and then we just kind of kept flopping back and forth between like the back of the legs, the glutes and the back. So overall, today was definitely a lot more fun than just a pure glute day would have been. And I'm very hopeful when I'm saying that we have maybe potentially done our last hip thrust of the fuel program, depending on what Caroline decides to do for her full body day. Again, just kind of like a medium intensity today. I feel like last week and the week before were a lot more intense. But yeah, tomorrow's a rest day. I might go on a run tomorrow morning again, depending on the weather, if it's nice out. So if it is nice out, I'll do more of an active rest day. If not, our next workout would be at Friday, which is our full up body day. All right, you guys, that's it for now. I'll watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And 
I can't help but smile. Something that I have been doing for the month of July, at my work, I've joined a stepping challenge. And yeah, it's funny because I'm generally not one to like fuss over how many steps I get. I know for a lot of people, there's kind of like a goal to get 10,000 steps a day, etc. But for some reason, that just hasn't really been a focus of mine. As you guys all know, I work out 30 minutes a day, whether it's strength training, whether it's more cardio, more jumping, etc. That's like basically all I focus on. I just make sure I get my movement in. But I kind of got peer pressured <laughs> into joining the step challenge. And so I've been trying, trying to do 10,000 steps a day for the past like two weeks. Have I been successful at it? Not every day. <laughs> I've been trying my best though. Like I feel like I've hit it for the most part. Yesterday I didn't because it was a rainy day and I just couldn't go outside. I tried to pace around my apartment for a little bit, but it was just kind of disturbing. <laughs> and I didn't want to go to the gym to like walk on the treadmill because that just sounded depressing to me. I much prefer like outdoors actual walks. So yeah, I thought I would just let you guys know that. On top of the fuel program I'm doing this week, I am also trying to get 10,000 steps on top of that. It's proving harder than I thought it was. I feel like because I work from home full time now, I really don't walk a lot. Like the farthest distance I have to go is from my desk to the kitchen. <laughs> like there and back is what I do all day. But this morning I did go out for a run. So I got around 7,000 steps this morning, maybe after work. I think it'll still be nice in the evening and sunny outside. So I'll go for a short walk after work as well. And that's kind of my active rest day movement. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. Good morning, my friends. It is Friday. Yes. Yesterday, I ended up doing like 17,000 steps, like almost 18,000. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. I did end up going on like a pretty long walk again after work. I think it was like an hour and a half long. So I got a bunch of steps in there. Today, we have our last full body day of the field program. And today's workout is no repeat full body workout. I feel like it's very rare for Caroline to ever do a workout that doesn't have repeats. So this is a very exciting thing. Thank you guys. <laughs> All right, let's just get into the workout. Caroline should seriously consider doing a lot more no repeat because that went by so fast. It was so fun. I just love that when you're finished an exercise, you're like, thank goodness I don't have to do this one again. Like I am finished with that one. And then you move on to the next one and you trust that you don't have to do that exercise again. It's just something so much more fun and magical about no repeats. Yeah, overall that was a really good workout. Definitely full body. We even did some core work in there, which again is very rare to see in a Caroline workout. And it's funny because it's like, we very rarely do abs in Caroline Griffin programs, but whenever we do, it's like so extremely hard. <laughs> but it's like, I haven't done abs in like three weeks and now I'm doing this like really, really crazy hard ab workout but I guess that's just how Caroline is. <laughs> Overall, did love today. Happy dang Friday. What a good start to the Friday. That also means we only have one more workout to go and fuel. So I am scared, but also very excited to see what Caroline has planned for us. We know generally that her finales are <laughs> quite extreme, but I believe in us, we can do it. I will see you guys on Sunday. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is Sunday. It is the last day of the fuel program. And we're finishing the program off today with a no repeat dumbbell hit. What else is there to say? I'm excited for this finale. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Oh my 
my god, you guys. I just realized, as a complete dummy, I didn't turn my workout mode on today on my watch. So, I don't have a final calorie count for you guys. That would happen on the last day, I'm sorry. <laughs> At least you have my intensity and fun ratings because that matters more than the calorie count, right? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, we are done. I also, I didn't notice like the usual confetti firework thing that Caroline usually puts on the last day of her workout programs. I don't know if I missed it, if I was just so like in my zone and like happy and proud of myself, but I didn't see like the usual confetti splash. Caroline. We need the confetti splash. <laughs> In all seriousness though, that was a really, really good way to end the program. Definitely some high intensity cardio in there. We also had a really solid core session. So we've done quite a bit of core on this last week. I think overall this last week of fuel, I know I've been saying this all week, but it was definitely not as intense as like the final weeks of her epic programs. But I think I like this way better. Like I don't need to absolutely wreck myself. <laughs> I still feel super accomplished finishing this six week program. I feel like if you wanted to compare Fuel to another Caroline program, I would say it's the most similar to Epic Heat because there's a bit more cardio involved. Okay, highlights of the Fuel program for me. I really liked week four. That was the extreme burpee week. It was so, so tough. Probably I would say the toughest week of Fuel was week four because of those burpees. That was just such a huge challenge, but I felt so accomplished for doing it. I also really like burpees, so obviously I enjoyed that week. My biggest challenge for fuel was definitely having two lower body days a week. I am not a fan of lower body. Legs and glutes are probably like my least favorite muscle group to work, which I know is an unpopular opinion, but I just get bored. I have like no interest in working it, but I'm pretty proud of myself that I pushed through this entire program doing two lower body days every single week. <laughs> if you guys have been doing fuel along with Caroline or just along with me and watching my journey and going through all this together, congratulations. Give yourselves a pat on the back back and a little hug. I am so, 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 so proud of you and you should be too. And yeah, I wonder what we should do next. Comment down below if you have any ideas of what you wanna see me try next, whether it's a program, whether it's a style of workout. And yeah, thanks for sticking around with me. <laughs> that being said, that wraps it up for this video and also this series. If you liked it, please give me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, give me a bunch of like confetti, firework, celebration emojis. If you like me, subscribe do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!